Hi everyone, how's it going? In this video I'm gonna show you how to easily make infrared dongle for your Android smartphone to remotely control shutter release of the most popular DSLRs. If your camera has a built-in infrared receiver, you can buy a remote control or spend 20 minutes to build your own, so you can press the shutter release from afar. This is final result, tiny dongle, which compatible with all Android devices. Let's get started. We need a stereo jack 3.5mm, you can buy a new one or take it from some broken speakers and headphones. And we need at least one infrared diode, better too, it will increase the range of the remote control. If you have some old or non-functional remote controls, you can still use their infrared LED. Like all semiconductors, diodes have polarity. The positive side is called the anode and the negative one is called the cathode. In our case it's pretty easy to determine polarity. Take a look at these close-up pictures. If you have one diode, you should determine which polarity gives maximum range. If you have two LEDs, then just make parallel connections with one of the diodes reverse bias. Polarity on the jack doesn't matter, we will use only these two contacts, despite the stereo jack has three. Now I have to figure out how to solder them together or solder for UK people. Ok, I decided to bend the lead to the left and the right respectively and solder them. From my point of view, this is the best solution for use jack. You can go your own way. I want to insulate one of the terminals with heat shrink tubing to prevent shorts between them. This is 5mm tube. I also will use bigger one like half an inch to hide the gun.
this soldering iron is old as hell, but still works. All my high-tech tools in the office. Almost ready device, looks pretty good, let's make some cover. You can use lighter, blow dryer or heat gun or even matches, all work well to shrink heat tubing, but move the flame along the length of the tube to prevent overheating. Now go to the Google Play Store and type in search bar DSLR Remote. This is the app which we need to install. Why Pentax by default? Why not Icon or Canon? Touch the menu, then Settings. Oh yeah, this app also supports built-in infrared blaster, which means if your phone like Samsung S4 or S5, you, not, you don't need any dongle. Almost all brands, but where is Samsung and Panasonic? Hmm, whatever, my camera is Nikon D5300, let's try it out. Sorry guys for the poor quality, I'm using my crappy old phone. Wow, it works! I've just noticed that for Nikon we have only shutter release button. When for Canon we have to set delay button, but we have a timer to delay shutter release. And for Olympus... How oh, bunch of buttons, zoom in, zoom out, manual focus and shutter button. HDR works in some mysterious way, and I didn't get it. What we've got here is just 5 shots with delay in several seconds. It's like interval shooting. Anyway, it does what it's supposed to do. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And as always, thanks for watching.